Hi everyone, this is Neil Reiterter, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for joining me in my latest video. We have here a patient who attended with a blockage writing. They were on holiday when this blockage occurred and it all happened after they uh, went swimming and got water in the ear. And the last time they attended was several years ago and it was a similar issue then. It was uh, whilst on the holidays um, and the patient instantly realised as soon as they got into the uh, water that uh, it might um, spell trouble for them because the patient is prone to a wax impaction. Um, I would say actually there's a lot of dead skin here. And this is very difficult consistency of wax and skin to remove because it keeps blocking the tube and you'll see me constantly coming in and out of the ear. And as a result, I thought I'd use a Jobson horn to see if I could scoop this out. But the consistency is too glutinous, too soft. And although I got a little bit out, it began to spread this soft wax. It had this, um, as I said, glutinous, soft, mushy consistency. So it spread it along the floor of the ear canal. So I just had to resort back to the suction. And I've just put loads of drops into the ear. So as soon as the patient got water in the ear, they instantly realised um, it may cause them an issue. Because if you're prone to a wax or dead skin buildup, up uh, 60% of earwax is dead skin in any case. But um, if you've just got skin and, or, or indeed you've got earwax, the skin cells will absorb the water. And the skin cells will, um, the dead skin cells will overhydrate, so they will swell. Um, and that swelling of the skin cells will exacerbate the symptoms because the wax and skin plug gets larger as a result. Eventually, that skin or wax plug will um, burst. The, the, the skin cells will overhydrate, and as they swell, the membrane can no longer contain all the, the water so that it's absorbed, and the membranes will rupture, and the, skin, the dead skin cells will break down into smaller pieces. It'll still be in the air, but it'll break down. Also, um, if you get water in the ear, there's a good chance that if you have got wax, or even if you've got a quite a bendy, twisty or, or bumpy ear canal, that water can get trapped in behind the wax or within the ear canal um, if you have um, the anatomy to cause it to get trapped. So um, the moral of the story is try to avoid water in the ear. If you do get water in the ear, the, thing, the best thing is to do, uh, well, there's several things you can do. You can try using a hairdryer, try using it at um, room temperature, because if you have it too warm or too cool, it can induce the caloric effect and you can get dizzy. Have it from a distance. Of course, don't put it right up against your ear because it's going to be too much um, air pressure into your ear and that can potentially, if you overdo it, it can perforate your eardrum. So do it from a distance just so that you can feel a gentle breeze. Do it in small um, burst, so 10 seconds and stop, so it stops the caloric effect from occurring. And it also, you're preventing too much pressure in the ear. So that's step one. You can try using a hairdryer. Of course, you can tilt your head to the side, but I'm assuming that you've tried that and it's still in the ear. Then you can use um, I, one of two solutions. You can use one part rubbing alcohol um, mixed in with one part white vinegar. And what that does is the rubbing alcohol uh, bonds with the water molecules and it homogenizes, it becomes one, one new um, solution. And because alcohol has a lower um, boiling temperature than water, it will evaporate very quickly. Um, but the problem with that is it can leave your ear a bit too dry, it can absorb too much moisture, um, even the internal moisture from the skin cells, but it will get out the excess water, hopefully. And the acetic acid, the, so the white vinegar, which is, um, um, in essence, acetic acid. The reason for that is if you do get water in your ear, it can wash away a natural layer of wax. Now, you're going to see this on this patient, actually, right now. So I've got the blockage out, but you'll see, uh, probably a bit further into the video, there's a very thin lacquer of wax, and that's good for us. Um, that, uh, the, the wax helps to moisturise the skin, it's acidic, so it helps to prevent um, bacterial and fungal growth, um, and it also acts as an insect repellent. So we're not going to get all this out it's, if we do if we try and do it, it's going to scrape the canal wall, which we don't obviously want. So what acetic acid does, if you do get water in your ear, it can wash away the natural veneer of wax and oils and that our ear secrete. I'm just suctioning some a bit wax there and also some olive oil that's trapped. So I put some olive oil in there and you can see it got trapped in the inferior anterior, anterior recess. So the acetic acid reacidifies the ears. If the water's washed away, there's natural oils, which are acidic. 
your ear becomes less, uh, it, it, the pH level increases, it becomes more alkaline, and that um, is known to then potentially lead to otitis externa, so an artery ear infection. So the acetic acid restores the natural acidity in the ear. Another solution that we sell on our website, it's only in the UK, guys. We do get a lot of inquiries from abroad at the moment, but it's just in the UK. Uh, you can see the URL link there, bottom right, uh, clearwax.co.uk. Visit our public shop, and there's a product called Clear Relief. Now, that's slightly different, but it works in the same principles as the one part rubbing alcohol, one part white vinegar. Instead, this solution um, contains glycerol, and glycerol acts very similarly to alcohol. It homogenizes with the water, so it absorbs water. However, glycerol has a actually a higher temperature, uh, boiling um, temperature, so it's not going to evaporate. But glycerol, um, it is almost a, 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 an oily sort of secretion, so that will then naturally uh, coat the ear canal, so it's... It, uh, prevents it from drying out too much and the lidocaine is a topical anesthetic so it helps to, to numb any pain well i hope you enjoyed that video guys take care keep well and speak soon bye